Hi everyone and welcome back to Me Talk TV. It's Reen. I'm so happy that you are joining me on today. I'm so, so excited because you all have left me some comments on today and I'm so, so excited. But first I want to say, um, we're going to talk about the three steps, how to get rid of them for your new ones that are coming in here. So please stay tuned if you'd like to see that. First, we're going to talk about this steamer and how you can get it and how it can help to get rid of these bed bugs, okay? So the handheld steamer, which I wish I had with me, y'all, it is away in storage right now, um, but I wish I had it with me so I can demonstrate which I do have some videos that you can check out if you need to. Um, you can go back over some old videos and it will show you that handheld steamer and all of that. And I will have it linked down in the description and all the products that you're going to need to get rid of these bugs, okay? So, first is the steamer and it kills on contact. As soon as you put the heat to the bed bugs, they fall dead. You Listen, that is the absolute way to get rid of them, okay? Because they fall dead okay so next is the alcohol which i'll talk about in all my videos i talk about steamer in all my videos and the baking soda because those are the three most important things and ways to get rid of these bed bugs okay so the baking soda um dries them out the alcohol dries them out and also burns them okay so that is what listen if you don't take nothing else those are the three things to get rid of three so make sure that you are doing the work as well okay implementing what i am saying to you on today because if you don't it won't work it just simply won't work okay i found out some things for myself as well that if you don't put in the work it won't work and they're going to be multiplying and multiplying and multiplying and you're going to be lost like why is this not working? Well, because you have to put in the time. You have to be patient. Know that it's the, the job is being done because once you start feeling the 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 bites going away, that's letting you know right there that listen, this is working. Okay, it is really working. But like I said, you have to get up, you have to do the work, you have to search, look around your house. If you've gotten bitten by one, you need to sure enough search your home, okay? You need to, wherever you got bit at, if it's in your bed, you need to take the mattresses off, go around the spring, go around everything, and look around these, um, the, the bed rails, because they can hide in the bed rails, okay? That is, like, really, like, I didn't think that they would like that, but yes, they love wood, they love uh, bed rails, and all of that, so you want to make sure that you are looking and all that stuff, and, and like I always say, Look up under your bed as well. If you have junk, I said, yes, I said junk up under your bed, you need to clean up under your bed. Get it all from up under there because they have places to hide if you if you have junk up under your bed. So I had to get down there and I'm not ashamed and clean up under my bed when I had these bugs, okay? And get everything from up under there because <coughs> that is where they're hiding. They're hiding on your bed, but as well, um, is up under your bed as well in the carpet and on whatever you have up under your bed shoes whatever okay so i'm letting you know that that is something that you need to do search and also go to that foundation because if you don't go to that foundation the foundation is growing while you're not over there at the foundation so go and check the foundation okay that is the number one thing as well that is what i always talk about because that is where you're going to need to go first that's what i had to do okay and if you don't know just search just look be like hey i'm gonna go find out where they at because listen if you don't they're growing they're multiplying in that area where they started from so you want to make sure that you are and i'm not trying to preach to y'all today but i'm just saying go to the foundation okay also, take that baking soda and go outside your home, okay? Take it outside. You don't want stuff coming from other folks' houses onto yours because, listen, they travel, okay? They travel. And also, you can take that, uh, what is that, uh, tea tree oil and go around your front, you know, the front uh, part of your door at the bottom and so they can't get in through your front door. Listen, they might be knocking at the door 
and then and then you open the door and they come on in and you not even you like what who who out here ain't nobody out here but they at your door <laughs> and then you open the door and they come on in so you best to be careful okay so i'm just saying i want to throw a little jokey joke i know this ain't no joke y'all i know i know um, but I just want to make you laugh sometime on, the, on today too. I got a funny video that you would absolutely love. And I'm going to see if I can link that up there at the top. One of my um, viewers did see that video and was cracking up. Okay. It was all about the bed bugs, but it was a joke video, but it was funny. And I just want y'all to see that video. So I'm going to link it up there at the top in the card section. So please, please go watch it. I'm telling you, it will make you laugh if you feel like you need to laugh on today. But anyway, we're going to get to the comments. We're going to get to the comments. Y'all, I am goofy, okay? I don't act like this in, in on here, but on my other video, my other channel, yeah, I do. And this is why I'm dressed up like this today because, listen, I had to do a video on that channel as well. So if y'all want to check out some other channels, go to Brown Diamond Beauty, okay? Oh, it's Brown Diamond Arena now. I'm sorry, I, I changed it. So, Brown Diamond Arena. And also, I have an exercising channel, which is Women Over 40 Fitness with Rena. And an inspirational channel, which is Inspirational Moments TV, will help you out throughout the day. If you're feeling down, depressed, all of that, go to Inspirational Moments TV. It will lift your spirits. Okay, so here we go. So, our first comment of today is coming from Tonya Hatfield. Okay, I hope I'm saying your first name right, Tonya Hatfield. And she says, I was on spring break last week, traveled, and came back home Sunday. Yesterday, I woke up with itchy bumps on my arm. Woke up again with bumps on my other arm. I am literally freaking out, not sure what to do first. I, was, I washed my sheets yesterday and put a new set on. So maybe it is in my mattress already. Maybe it's already in your mattress. Um, I would like to to catch it early, but not sure if I'm too late. How long does it take for the manis, uh, infestation? I'm going to say manifestation. I mean, <laughs> infestation, y'all. Um, so with the infestation, like I said, I did not have infestation at all. So I really don't know how long that would take. But all I know is that when I knew that they were there, I got rid of them. I got up, got my steamer. And I just had to steam it first, y'all. I didn't have the alcohol and I didn't have the baking soda, but I did do a little research, okay? And I and I found that alcohol would get rid of them and also uh, baking soda. So I put the three together and honey, that just got totally rid of, rid of them. So uh, like I said, I don't know, but if you have been itching, that is a sign that you do have bed bugs and you need to search your home. You need to search your mattress. I don't care if you pull the whole mattress off of your bed. That is what I did. I had to get down to the bottom, to the nitty gritty. And I took all of my mattresses off, got to the bed spring, all of that. Well, not the bed spring, but the, the frame of the bed, looked all around the headboard, all of that. So that is what you are going to have to do because you want to make sure that they are not hiding in your bed, okay? Um... So that is what you're going to have to do uh, before it tries to uh, do an infestation. It really depends on how many bites you had at night as well. Because um, if you're having a whole bunch of bites, then that probably will be a sign of infestation. Okay, the next one is Joe and Cole. And I'm shouting y'all out on today, okay? These are shout outs as well. So Joe and Cole says, thank you for making your videos. They are, They have helped me so much. I will uh, continue watching our uh, scabies and uh, dust mites like the same way, I mean, are killed the same way bed bugs are killed. Uh, I don't know. What can I use? Um, well, dust mites, you just keep your house dusted down real well. And I'm pretty sure they have something for that at the store. But I don't know if what I'm telling you to do will kill the bed bugs, okay? I mean, the dust mites. But I know it will get rid of the bed bugs. Um, and also scabies, I don't even know what that is. And I'm so ashamed to say, cause maybe I should know, but I don't know. Um, because I must have never came across that. So I don't know. Um, but all I know is this is what kills the bed bugs. All that other stuff I don't know about, but just dust mites, just keep your house dusted really well. Also, Michelle Sears says, I really appreciate your videos 
been, been killing myself from morning until bedtime. That means she's been working hard, y'all. Working hard trying to get rid of these bed bugs, okay? Um, it's a lot of work. It's paying off, but it's paying off. So it's a lot of work. You're right about that. But honey, if you want to get rid of them, you want to be free of bed bugs, you got to put in the work, honey. Um, and it's this kids have not been a uh, bit. Thank you. Thank you. So I, uh, really am happy that you are up doing this, uh, putting in the work, implementing this stuff, because listen, it's going to take that. It's going to take all of that, you know, but in the end, it's going to all be worth it. And you're going to be happy and you're going to be free of bed bugs. And you're going to be able to tell somebody else about these videos and how that you got rid of your bed bugs. So I'm so happy on today. Thank y'all for your comments on today. I do have one more to go. And this shout out goes to Roxanne Matthew Baker. And she says, Hey girl, I like your videos. I want to make videos slash bed bugs. I'm a fan of your videos. Hoping to meet you one day. Positive stuff. You can't be, uh, this is what I, she's quoting what I said. You can't be lazy. Always working. Stay up. You stay up as well, girl. And um, I hope I do get to meet some of my subscribers one day, okay? I really hope that. And uh, I will be so happy, you know, because I know that y'all are trying to put in this work and get rid of these bed bugs um, and all of that stuff. And yes, I am a positive person. I love to help people and work with people and all of that. Um, so yeah, so you all just stay up, keep your heads up high and know that you're going to get rid of these bed bugs and they're not going to take over your life. Okay. You're not going to get an infestation as long as you stay right here and you go down in that subscribe, but I mean, go down in that description and get your steamer, get your alcohol and get your, um, baking soda. You will not have this issue. Okay. And I will have that link down there as well. I always do. So I love you guys. Be blessed and I will see you in my next video.